heard around the world by everybody and their mama, the Jesse Lee Peterson Radio Show. I told you about a story where a father uh, shamed his 13-year-old daughter uh, by putting her on video, cutting her hair, and putting it out on YouTube. And as a result of that, the girl ended up committing suicide. And uh, we've seen this time and time again. We saw it first with a black woman out of, as far as I can remember, Baltimore, who saw her son protesting. She ran out and got him and embarrassed him by beating him all the way home. Then we saw it again with some idiot woman out of Phoenix, Arizona, somewhere, uh, embarrassing, embarrassing her 13-year-old daughter. And, and that mother was a, a, a mother from hell. And so it seems to be the theme right now, and it says to me that these parents have lost control of their own homes due to their own weakness. Instead of doing something about that, they are embarrassing their children, thinking that that's going to work, and it's not. Two Saturdays ago, 13-year-old Isabel got out of a car and jumped from a highway overpass, landing on Interstate 5 below, police said. She was rushed to a local hospital where she later died. This is right after the father did what he did to his daughter. The 13-year-old girl in this video clip suffered the harshest kind of bullying. How many times did I warn you? Harsh because this extreme public shaming allegedly began at home, allegedly at the hands of her own father, who recorded and then uploaded the video, supposedly to teach his daughter a lesson. Consequences of getting messed up? Man, you lost all that beautiful hair. Was it worth it? It was not worth it. Because investigators in Tacoma, Washington say after Isabel Laxamana's father allegedly cut her hair off, the teenager went to school and suffered even more bullying before committing suicide by jumping off a bridge. That's amazing. This is a sad story to me. I'm wondering how is this father feeling now? Is he taking responsibility for this? What's going on? 13-year-old uh, Ali Muhammad can relate to being bullied and thinking about suicide. What were some of the worst things that you remember having said to you? The main one was thought, because I wasn't. Thought that blank over there. Yeah. Ali Muhammad says she can relate, telling us about her own experience with bullying that drove her to a dark place. It was her mother who was there to throw her a lifeline. I thought suicide myself. I've started cutting myself. I've done so many things to like hurt myself when I really shouldn't have. And so I can understand. Oh, I don't, I don't, how do I say this? I don't say it's right that she should have killed herself, but I understand her pain. And I understand where she was coming from. Uh, she would call T H O T, that hole over there. And so this girl thought of suicide, Ali, because she was bullied at school. And this girl that committed suicide was bullied as a result of her father putting her out there on YouTube. And here's a final soundbite on Ali. Mother Karen Muhammad gave her, gives her gives advice, keep tab on your child. For families at home who are watching this, what advice can you offer them on how to help a teen get a ticket out of that situation? Monitor your child at all times. Ask them questions. Be part of your, your child's life. Be part of everything. A you know, ask them about their day. See who their friends are. See who they're hanging out with. See who, you know, know who your children's friends are because sometimes friends are the ones that are doing part of the bullying. But this story on Ali is different than the one on the girl who committed suicide, Isabel, because Isabella only was bullied because of what her father did. I, we don't know why uh, uh, Ali was uh, bullied. My question is, what do you think about the father or mother who would shame their children 
in that way, should they be punished for doing that to their own children? And this is, is this child abuse, this is not the way that children should be raised. How do you even handle, even, after, even if this girl had not been bullied at school, how do you handle your, your um, father or mother embarrassing you like this? That's my point, is parents have lost the, the know-how of raising children. And I don't know how that happened. There was a father, uh, this is from YouTube slash Facebook, uh, soundbite number four there. A young father start, starts off yelling at his son before taking hair clippers uh, to the boy's braids. So what? I'm tired of you. I'm tired of you. No. Listen, y'all. These kids want to act up in school, want to go to school and embarrass you, want to make like they ain't got no home training. So I told my son, don't go to school and embarrass me no more. I take care of you, son. I give you anything you want. I discipline you. But you're going to embarrass me like this? No, so now I'm going to cut his hair, send him to school with a bald head. Don't, don't embarrass me. I told him, don't embarrass me. No. Don't embarrass me like that. No. Mm -mm. I love you too. I won't cut your hair, son. Now go play. I won't ever in my life ever humiliate my own DNA on a social media network. I seen a lot of parents do that and it actually made me cry. Humiliation can cause suicide and depression. Come on, I'm 26 and I know better than that. Come on, y'all. I, I do not respect that. Everybody have their own opinion. The people that might get mad with this video is the people that probably already embarrassed their child. You can't you can discipline your child in their room. Take something away from them. If they act up, what well, well, my sons, if they act up, I'm like, son, you can't play the game today. They act up again, I'm going to say, son, you're going to read a book all day today. You can't watch TV. That's it. Like, we live in a society now where people want to record how they discipline their child. Since when? What goes on in home? to stay at home and I cannot believe y'all I'm 26 and all y'all 35 plus probably the videos I done seen and it's unbelievable it's, it's heartbreaking but God bless y'all though y'all have a nice day oh he had like 35 years old I'm 26 all y'all 35 and plus 35 is not much older than 26 888-775-3773 but he's right about that you should not be shaming your children. Why do you think black kids are so screwed up? They are so embarrassed and made to be shamed by their, not all the mother, but most of the mothers and grandmothers in public. Never mind where they are. Back in a moment. Meanwhile.